Okay, so let's have a look at some of the different types of scans. Well, the simplest scan is just um, peaks of voltage that, that arrive at the transducer, and we just plot those on a voltage against time graph. And this is called an A scan. The A, stan the a stands for amplitude because all we're getting is amplitude information and nothing else. So at time t equals zero, that's when the ultrasound pulse is sent out. And so we're going to get a large uh, reading on the voltmeter as the piezoelectric transducer is vibrated. The voltmeter reading the vibrations and, and me measuring the, the induced EMF will record a large pulse at that point. So this is the initial pu the pulse, the pulse that's sent out. So we kind of ignore that one. Um, and then after a certain amount of time, there's going to be a, ref a reflection. So the waves, so if, if we draw it up here, here's the transducer. It's sending a pulse down into, into the body or whatever it is, and it's going to hit a surface. Now, some of that pulse is going to come back to the transducer. And when the first pulse comes back to the transducer, we get a, a, a spike like that. But some of it is going to be sent down to the next layer. And the next layer might be there, for example. And then that bit is going to travel all the way back to the transducer. And then when that arrives back at the transducer, we're going to get a second pulse. So when these pulses come back we get the first one here and the second one here and they're just plotted as spikes uh, voltage spikes on on this graph effectively but we can calculate the distance between the, this boundary here and this boundary here by using the time it takes this delta t here for the second between the first pulse being received back and the second pulse being received back and the distance between those two boundaries is equal to the speed of the ultrasound in this particular layer here multiply by the time difference divided by 2. And the time difference is delta t here, the difference between the first pulse's arrival and the second pulse's arrival. Why do we divide it by 2? Well, it's because the pulse has to travel to the second boundary and then back. So its arrival will be delayed by that time and that time. So we need to divide that by 2 because we don't want the there and back. We just want to know how long it took to get there. Okay, so that's where that half comes from there. Okay, so that's how we calculate the distance between two boundaries. Now, amplitude scans are useful because they give us information about the, the distances between different boundaries inside the body, but they don't actually give us a picture that, that we can um, interpret. So in order to do that, what we need is a B-scan. Now, a B-scan, instead of giving you amplitude spikes like this, gives you dots of brightness on a 2D planar image. So what we do is we send an A scan out in this direction. Okay, the, the scanner would be here and it will send an A scan out in this direction. And there will be a reflection from this boundary here which will come back and a reflection from this boundary here which will come back. And instead of plotting the, um, the pulses as voltage spikes, we plot them as, bright, as dots of brightness. So that one there might be a dot there and a dot there, or rather let's say a dot there and a dot there because those are two bright bright spots on, on that particular line. And then we send an ultrasound pulse out at a slightly different angle into the body. So we're going to get um, a dot there and a dot there as the pulse comes back here and then the pulse comes back from here. So that would be a dot there and a dot there. And we do it in many at many different angles. So th on this little diagram up here, that's the third direction. So we'll get a dot there and a dot there or on this one it would be a dot there and a dot there and we keep going and we get lots and lots and lots of dots now if you do enough A scans obviously those dots join up to form lines and from that we can make out the shape of the boundary so that's that's a B scan it's lots of A scans built up at different angles into the body with the reflections being shown as dots of brightness on a 2D planar image rather than just a single A scan with the reflections being shown as voltage spikes on a voltage against time graph. Okay, that's, uh, that's a B scan. And then there's um, an M scan where M stands for moving. So effectively what we do is we take a B scan every tenth of a second or whatever and we refresh it like a TV picture, which effectively gives us a moving image, just like a film. Okay, so many A scans making up a B scan, and a few B scans a second 
making up what we call an M scan. And we've got a couple of little um, little videos here. I'm going to show you one of them here if I can get this to load up. So there we go. So you can see there um, each of these individual lines. Let's just play that again. Each of these individual lines is an A scan. All right. And many A scans at different angles make up a B scan. And that B scan is then refreshed many times a second to give you a moving image. Looks like a fetus's arm there, perhaps. Okay.